We'll, we'll stay in football. A uh, huge deal has happened in the last 48 hours. Neymar Jr. has signed a two-year deal with Saudi Arabian Pro League club Al Hilal. This is getting this is getting ridiculous. Listen to this deal: 175 million dollars a year, no taxes, private plane, staffed mansion, 85 thousand dollars extra for every win, 545 thousand dollars for every social media post that he that he pushes promoting promoting the Saudi League or their or their tourism. What are your thoughts, buddy? Where are we going with all this? Uh, yeah, you know, we, we've had the conversation about, you know, the, the Saudi uh, influence with their with their with their money in the sports space, whether it be soccer, whether it be golf, whether it be tennis, whether it be boxing, whether it be cricket. I mean, it's it you know, you know they are they are looking to influence uh, and and find other ways to invest their money in in, in global sport. Uh, and you know, you know, for the betterment of, of you know of of not only their country, but you know, some may call it sports washing. But at the end of the day, I think what it is is that they're 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 just genuinely wanting to uh, you know make sport better around the world. Uh, this this you know, and, and they have their home domestic league. Uh, Ronaldo being the first move. You got Benzema now. You've got. Uh, uh, Kanye is, is on his way over there. Uh, they uns unsuccessfully uh, wooed, um, you know, Messi and Mbappe. Uh, now, you know, the next target was was Neymar, and you know, Neymar's personality and his this isn't shouldn't be surprising to anyone that that he he was he's the kind of the next big name to go there because um, you know he's not you know. Uh, you know, kind of protecting a legacy, if you will. Uh, he's a very talented player, uh, but, you know, the, the welcome was over in PSG. Um, he wasn't going to go back to Brazil. That would have been, you know, I think there's, a, you know, I think he makes a, he, he makes that, uh, you know, stop after maybe an MLS stop and uh, before he ends up back for one last run at Santos. Um, uh, this, this is, uh, you know, not the last move that the you'll see in the Saudi league. You, we've, we've seen some of the immediate impact with uh, uh, some TV deals with the zone and, and Fox, you know, here from a domestic standpoint, um, you know, the Saudis are competitive. They want their league to be right up there with everybody else. Uh, and how do you do that? Um, it's by signing people that people like us are going to go, Oh yeah, I might check that game out. Now it's, it's obviously made that league much more interesting. It's made it to where it's now available on broadcast here in the United States. Um, it's not just a Ronaldo league anymore. Um, yeah. So, I mean, you know, I, there's more coming and, and look at, at the end of the day, competitive leagues all around the world make this game better. Um, and, 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 and this is, uh, certainly, you know, no, no, no different than, uh, um, I think you or I have having that deal put in front of us probably wouldn't take us very 100%. long to sign it either. Hundred percent. So, 100%, 100%. so given, given our collective skill sets in the sport, yeah. I don't know that we'd ever see it, but if it did come in front of me, I, I might take it. <laughs> um, so what he's come out and said actually since then is that what, well, the word is he wants to play there for two years, then go back to Barcelona just before the world cup and prepare for the, for the world cup. Um, so, and since Ronaldo went there last year, he made a promise that he's going to attract a lot of players and a lot of money to the to the league. Twenty players out of Europe have been signed up in the Saudi Pro League since then. The four big teams have been privatized, and they they've gone they've been invested into by the sovereign 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 wealth fund, which means. Their projects. That's that's what this means. Those four big teams are going to be projects. Those twenty players have gone into those four big teams. They're looking now. The next step is to sort of win the Asian the Asian Champions League, and I guarantee you they'll have some sort of run into somehow getting involved into UEFA. It would not surprise me if there's some sort of competition 
that comes up because, hey, you, your wife is not hard to convince. Let me tell you that part. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We, we will see some sort of restructure, I promise you, in regards to the Champions League, some sort of restructure that will somehow encompass the, these Middle Eastern leagues, pick out a team, one or two teams, that will probably end up playing somehow in the in, in the Champions League somehow. It's just it's only a matter of time. And you, we yeah. can say we said it here first. Yeah. So well, you know, it, it would not be surprising to see uh, a uh, uh, a PIF backed brand uh, be one of the next global sponsors in UEFA. Uh, you know, they're you know uh, those don't go cheaply. They go you know at about forty to sixty million a clip. Um, yeah. And so uh, you know that's that, that that's that's peanuts for the uh, the PIF and and the brands that they back. You know they uh, um, it's, it's you know so it's it's it. I, I, I agree with you that, that that's the trend. That's the goal. Uh, they got to get themselves into position. Now, obviously, raise the, you know, the level of their, uh, of their play. And again, you know, that's five hours worth of work, uh, Rob. Yeah, there you go. I thought, you know, we we build the top of the table around here. Five hours worth of work of petrol coming out. There you go. Literally, that's it. they do eleven million barrels a day. How much is a barrel going out? <laughs> Well, it's about about hundred. What about yeah. ninety? Let's say upper nineties. Yeah, let's say let's say ninety. We'll, we'll work it out. It's about five hours worth of work. Yeah. Nothing to them. Nothing to them. Got the, we got that. Nothing to them. So we, we will see that, and them launching a new airline, Riyadh Airlines. They yep. they're, they're going to plaster that everywhere, and they love they love the soccer and the football. And I guarantee you, before you know it, it'll be there. Yeah, uh, Atletico Madrid is not their last deal. Absolutely not. So they'll, they'll look to have one in each of the, the major markets, guaranteed. So look, for consumers, that's that's a good thing because you might get better priced um, tickets, uh, flight tickets. Uh, the more competition, the better. Uh, let's just hope the experience is just as good. But in, enough about the um, Saudi Pro League. We seem to, they, Every week, we seem to be talking about them. Yeah. Every single week. 